concerned about your inside or your outside. This is the question you can ask yourself and ask your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor and ask your neighbor, are you concerned about your inside or your outside? It's like we are more concerned about the outside more than the inside. And what is danger to you and me is not the outside, but the inside. Even all sickness or disease that the doctor will detect in your blood, they are not outside. They are inside. But you care more of the outside than the inside. Be concerned about your inside, not your outside. It is the inside that takes care of the outside. Make no mistake. Be concerned about your inside, not your outside. If you see, you know, uh, something uh, outside your body, maybe on, on your tummy, and these things, you know that these things can kill or destroy my skin. Are you going to let those things be there until the doctor tells you that what you saw is, is dangerous to your life? No. Immediately you see it, you remove it. But as long as it is inside, you are not going to see it until you start feeling what? Pain. Your concern must be always for your inside, not the outside. Let's go now to the word of God. This is your savior talking to you. He said, who to you teach us of the law? And the Pharisees, you hypocrites, you clean the outside of the couple and dish, but inside are full of greedy and self indulgence. 26. Blind Pharisees first clean the inside of the cup and dish, then the outside also will be cleaned. Before I proceed, let me talk about this one. Jesus said, to you teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you are hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside is full of what? Greed and self-indulgence. You look good outside. You speak good with the people, but your insight is dangerous, even to those who are very close to you. The language which is coming out of your mouth, your appearance is always portraying that picture that this one is a, is a Christian, is a child of God. But inside yourself, you know that I am not a child of God. You clean the cup outside. It's a parable. This cup is not the cup that we used to drink water. It is your body. You clean it outside. Inside, you are full of greedness. Bitterness, jealous, envy. All those things are inside. And this is what is dangerous to your life. As long as your spiritual life is in danger, hmm, even your physical is in danger. It is the spirit that gives life to the flesh. Be concerned about your inside, not your outside. Even the things that you are putting inside your body, you must be concerned. You smoke, you drink beer, you don't care. Not until you start feeling pain. When you go to the hospital, the doctor will tell you, this is TB. Are you ready to stop the cigarette? Yeah. Because if you won't stop, you, I think in your life, maybe three, four months, you are going. But doctor, I am ready to stop. 
your inside is already damaged because you are not concerned you can even blame others or you point to your brother or your sister to say look at this one you are forgetting that your inside is more important than your outside you clean yourself you put uh, uh, if it is you know when it comes to our uh, 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 our mothers you put this uh, uh, the one on the lips and then this one you put on your face you do everything you 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 you, you, you blend your nails everything Your appearance, look from your feet up to you know the air. Ah, <laughs> everyone will be interested to be very close to you. They don't know that inside you are dangerous. They don't know that inside you are not you are not the way you know they see outside. That is hypocrisy. Change does not, you know, start with the outside. It is from the inside. Verse 26. Blind Pharisees first clean the inside of the cup and dish. Then the outside also will be... If you are clean inside, look at the way, you, you know... This Satan is manipulating our life. As long as you are clean outside, you not mind about the inside. What does it mean? Simply means this flesh doesn't care about your salvation. But if you are clean inside, the inside will take care of the outside. You see the picture. The inside cannot allow the dead thing outside to remain on your body. Because cleanness is next to what? To godliness. The spirit of God cannot allow you to be a dead person. As long as you are clean inside, he will clean your body. But when it comes to Satan and his activities, he would rather you remain clean outside, but inside you are dirty. That is hypocrites. Be concerned about your insides. Tell your neighbor. Say, be concerned about your inside. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you cannot control anything inside your body if you allow Satan to enter your body. You cannot clean your kidneys, your tube, your womb. You cannot clean anything inside you. Outside, you are able to do that. This is why you need to allow the Holy Spirit to settle inside your body, to take care of the inside and the outside. I want to conceive why is it difficult? I mean, so difficult for me to conceive. Because I cannot control the inside. If it is possible, my tube is blocked. I will just use my finger to unblock it. There, I became pregnant. But it is not possible to control the inside. By human capacity or desire. It is only him to settle in you so that whatever you ask him is able to do that. So be concerned about your what? Your insight. Outside, anyone can, you know, help you to treat that wound. If there is a wound outside, everyone will say, no, sorry, 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 sorry. I think he just go to the hospital. Some of you, you are carrying very big wounds inside your body and you don't know. You just take a painkiller. There you slept off. Some of you, you just drink it or you see the beer or whatever that can make you to sleep. By the time you start feeling that pain unbearable, there you know that you are gone. The inside is more important. What are you calling inside your heart? Are you calling an unforgiveness? This is why you see even our prayers, when it comes to a prayer, I mean God to answer your prayer, he will look at your heart. He will not look at your outside. It is your heart first. What is in your heart? 
The way you think towards your brother. The way you think about your family. The way you do things. It's inside, not outside. Jesus is very close to you and me. What is making him not to answer your prayer is the inside is not clean. Your heart is contaminated. You are still keeping something which happened long time ago up to today. Is there clicking in your heart? You are the only one who is, you know, perfect. Forgiveness does not mean you need to go and say, I forgive. You start with your heart before you open your mouth. Once you are released inside your heart, then saying it with your mouth will be very easy. Because that freedom will give you that, you know, a freedom to speak to anyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, look at 27. He said to the teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you hypocrites, you are like a whitewashed tombs which looks beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of bones of the dead and everything unclean. I remember this message now. I even shared this message to you. As I said, that there's nothing new. If you go to the graveyard, you see where they have put a tombstone. See the way the tombstone is shining. The color, the decoration. But if you remove that tombstone and go inside, what are you going to see? What are you going to see? Are you going to enjoy seeing the bones and whatever, the way you see, you see people lying on the tombstone, uh, like I heard some people praying, uh, Mama, we have come to visit you. Uh, I know, we know that we are listening. Who is listening to you? Bones inside the, the, the grave listening to you. Hmm? Are you a Christian? Or a witch doctor for you to pray such kind of prayer? Because if you remove the tombstone, what you find inside is bones. There is no human being inside that tomb again. Only bones that you, you, you know you remove there. You look nicely, beautifully outside. But inside you are like that, you know, graveyard. If your heart is contaminated, if your heart is not pure, be worried. You cannot answer this prayer by yourself. You cannot change anything by yourself. It is only him who can do that. Are you there? Please, people of God. Before we... Prayer is like you breathe in, you breathe out. If your heart is truly pure, like the way you appeared outside. It's a simple thing to do by your Father in heaven. What makes it so difficult is your heart. You want to receive from him with dead hands. He cannot. Listen to this. You teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you hypocrites, you are like a whitewashed tombs, which looks beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of bones of the dead. And everything is unclean. Look at this example. Prayer is not your voice. It is your heart that prays to God Almighty. Even a criminal can pray on top of his voice or a voice. It doesn't mean that that criminal is talking to God. He want to show people that he's not a criminal. But inside his heart, he knew that I'm a criminal. I follow this woman. I want to know, you know, a movement so that I'm going to attack her one day. You see a criminal shouting, moving here and there. You thought, ah, this brother or this sister can pray. Inside is a criminal. A witch or a wizard within the leadership of the church will be more committed more than even those who are, you know, 
who are yearning to hear the voice of God. A witch will be busy. And people will say, bad kosa. Mm, this woman or this man, these people are committed, I'm telling you. Every day in the morning, there will be a church. And yet, they are looking for someone to kill. You qualify them that they are Christians because of the physical what? commitment. It is the insight. Are you concerned about your insight? Hmm? Are you concerned? You don't know what you are calling inside your body. If you are concerned, you allow the Holy Spirit to enter your life. And remove what is not part of you. A graveyard, if you go to the graveyard where they have put, you know, tombstones, you see everywhere. Go to the, uh, the burial site of uh, the, 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 where they have buried our leaders. Rich people. You can even cook on shima and eat there. But remove the thing and see what is inside. If you will sit there and eat. Bones and everything inside is dirty. If your heart or if you are a, such a person inside, be worried. Jesus is calling you and me to his life. To be pure like him in his heart. It, the Bible says that we are like Jesus here on earth. If we follow him wholeheartedly. Are you concerned about your insight? That is my question today. If you are not concerned, what is dragging your life? What is causing BP? What is causing all these problems that you have fasted, you have done? Your inside is not clean. Your inside is not what? Be concerned about your inside. Outside, you may not know that this one is carrying a career. He will put perfume all over his body. Eh? And wear a very nice, you know, uh, attire. Driving a very nice vehicle. But the, the body is full of gonorrhea. Oh, bola, bola. You will see someone who is just, you know, uh, dead outside, but inside is pure, like water. If you drink him, you'll be healed. But you see gonorrhea putting perfume, a very expensive perfume. Hmm? Just one time, shh, ah, you started breaking. The one who is pure calling you, no, you are following perfume. You are following the attire, the dress. You don't know that inside is a graveyard. Come on, people of God. It's high time that we depend on God Almighty. That is the inside, not this flesh. You are just okay. All this period, you are okay. Now, because of that perfume, because of expensive things that this person is wearing, you are moved. Not knowing that you are entering the graveyard. After a while, feelings changed. Feelings what? Changed. Why do you want to go to the Tetu ishi weno kuishi wanga ambo kufula pelo wa mwana mm. Achi kushamulumu haya furila mbafu wano wawwe ah. Fuma, Nishi mwalu alati Ah mwala manshupa Efyo awa mwulu wele Think about your inside Be concerned about what you are calling inside Outside there is no problem there is no one here who can carry bad things and people are able to see that this is what you are calling and you'll be proud of that. No, you'll be ashamed. But why are you not ashamed of what you are calling inside your heart? Why are you not concerned? Some of you, you cry. When you are alone, you are crying. Your insight is very, very important. For God Almighty to answer your prayer, start now releasing yourself from that pain of the past start releasing yourself from the inside the 
people that you trusted, the people that you love so much, a man or a woman that you love so much, at the end of the day, you know, disappointed you. Release yourself from that past. Let your inside be clean and pure so that you pave way for the future. I'm very much concerned about my insight. Are you there? Mm, because of time, I'm, I'm sure this one will be the foundation by the grace of God. Listen to 28. In the same way, on the outside, you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. For you, what you know that only witches and wizards are bad people. No. Even as people who are not even calling any charm. You may not carry any charm, you know, with your hands, but you are calling that evil power inside your, your heart. What is evil power? Bad feelings towards your brother or your sister. Gossiping. Promoting yourself more than your fellow uh, you, I mean, you, your brothers and your sisters. Stealing. All kinds of evil things will make you to be, you know, unclean inside your heart. And this is why you see, witches and wizards are always riding our body like horses. Because we are carrying their properties. We look nice, we wear jackets, suits, you know, more especially as pastors. When you dress, ah, Everyone knows that the man of God is here. It is not the title, but what you carry inside. The healer is not your body. It's the one inside your heart. The deliverer is not the title that you carry. It is the one inside your heart. This is why you need to, to take care of your inside than the outside. Is there anyone here inside the church who is looking like a sinner? In fact, a sinner is looking more shine than someone who is not even what? A sinner. Be concerned about your what? Your inside. Outside, no problem. There is perfume. A soap. All kinds of, you know, uh, shower gel. You can shower your body. Uh, you can put, uh, uh, how, how do you call this one? You can put a foundation to cover your pimples. A man will not see the pimples. The time you are shifting in his house, in the ah ah, baby, what happened today? Something. If you have a, hmm? you take care of the of your outside. What about your inside? Tell your neighbor, say, be concerned about your inside. Say, be concerned about your inside more than your outside. Yes. What is killing you is inside. You are calling a snake. That snake is inside your what? Your body. If it is outside, everyone will see a snake to say, ah, mulenga, a snake is there. That snake will bite you. We are here. Ah. Snake. But the snake is inside. No one knows. Are you concerned about your inside? If you are concerned, start releasing your heart. You enjoy life more than anyone. Even when it comes to sleeping, you will sleep like a baby. Because of that free spirit inside you. But you are always talking about people. Even the last way that you make, you know, before you sleep, is you are thinking about what happened a long time ago. Think about your personal encounter with Jesus. No, ever lenga timbefi. Ah ah. Now we know what lenga. Ever chitashan. She ever lenga. You wetau le tau le lenga. Okay. Now my son mukulowa. Umwa na wakwalesa. Eh? My son mukutashan. The following day, you, you use whatever is there physically to provoke him. So that at least, 
Mwa mutende kama mwa wefe mule mweba. Elo no furwa. Mwala mumulo we. Tafia bombe. Badinga mwala nefati. Yeah. Upu wa ishto vela finished. You are what? They will laugh. They will start now begging you. The same which. After discovering that the door is open, we are going to do our job this night. No, sorry, 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 sorry. They know that this one is gone. In those she is reactive in my churches because she la samba, she la moneka we know, no kubasana committed. And yet inside, they are like graveyards. They are feeding us, more especially us men of God. Anything that you receive in form of money, God bless you. Which God? That person needs deliverance before you start eating their money. They are going to kill you. Indo shifule ambo kutino kuchita approach mwana wako alesa. Nangula shima pepo wako anani? Wako alesa. Are you concerned about your insight? Eh? Are you sure? If you are concerned, start releasing your... Stop blaming anyone. Start releasing your what? Your heart. If it is forgiveness, declare them, Father, forgive me and forgive those who offend me. Hmm? If it is, you know, the family, there is a confusion, someone you know is the one who is creating that, declare the love of God in the family. Hmm? Your life is unstoppable. Your life is unquestionable. Be concerned about your insight. See your appearance outside. If it is the way, you know, the way you appeared physically and the inside is the same. Ah, Jesus lives in you. Jesus is there inside your heart. But, ngacha kwa ti muka ti, munye mune kama fupa kwa ti ni manda po vashiko mundu wa fuile last year. Be worried. Be what? Be worried. Forgive and do what? Tell your neighbor, say, be concerned about your inside more than your outside. Because tamwe ndo kwa buloku samba. Shemule ndo kwa buloku samba. Nga bafi ya shwe suwa njine fwecho wabali la pofesi ni kuisa. Kumutwe, kumweneko wae mba sana. Mutu ule mweneko wae mba. Badi mukati, mwini mboko shino mtu wabola. They will move by the side what they see. Ah, this one, not knowing that you are carrying a coffin with a dead person inside. Mm. A rotten one. So please be concerned about your inside. Remember, the Bible said that in the eyes of the people, you appeared as righteousness. But inside, you are full of what? Hypocrisy and wickedness. No one will accept that I'm wicked. But you are carrying wickedness inside your body. Amen. We sing that song. Oh, my baby, my baby, my baby. 